Tonight, leaders with the Hamilton County Juvenile Court invited the public to weigh in on their search for a new provider to oversee services at Hillcrest Academy. Our Simone Jameson was there as the conversations took place and joins us live from Hillcrest Academy. That's right, Amber Robb, leaders with the Hamilton County Juvenile Court, as well as the State Department of Family Services, hosted its first ever Hillcrest Academy listening session for the public to weigh in on what new leadership should look like and how it should function following a series of controversies and setbacks to the facility. These are very, very trying times for kids in communities. Leaders with the Hamilton County Juvenile Court and State Department of Family Services opened the floor up for discussion at Xavier University Tuesday evening for community members across the tri-state to have a say in their plans to introduce new leadership to Hillcrest Academy. Hillcrest is a residential treatment program serving males between the ages of 12 and 18 who have a history of delinquent behaviors, mild mental health issues, and special education needs. With our kids, it doesn't work unless you have structure, structure, structure for a foundation so they can be educated. Absolutely. So you need people who can run a facility that is not chaotic. Hillcrest had seen more than its fair share of controversy. The search for new leadership is the result of the juvenile court and Department of Family Services severing ties with rites of passage. The organization contracted to oversee services at Hillcrest Academy since 2012. This came after Francine Thomas, a former Hillcrest employee who was contracted with rites of passage, was accused of sexually abusing a 15-year-old in the residential program back in March, leading a dozen juveniles to be removed from the program as a result. As part of the expiration of this contract, the court is looking for the best residential treatment program that we can find for Hamilton County. Court representatives say the contract is set to expire next spring. You done snatched half of our population and more than half of them are back locked up again. What are we really trying to accomplish here? I don't want no dog and pony show. Speakers at the podium Tuesday evening emphasized their desire to see a bigger focus on education and community support, getting everyone they can involved in reducing the likelihood those in the program will commit crimes again. You need to have somebody out in the community who's going to work with that kid, continue to work with that kid, and um, help him grow. Bring those people uh, onto campus so that you create a relationship. Too long we have gone without a level of cultural competency that is needed to best reach the, the young people and we have to change that. Well, some of the speakers at tonight's meeting also suggested that they want to see a Citizens Advisory Council. Now leaders with the juvenile court say that they will be taking the input from tonight's meeting into consideration and bringing it before the prosecutor's office for further consideration. Live at Hillcrest Academy, Simone Jameson, Fox 19 Now.